guys, it's Monday. It is two o'clock and I have to go to the DMV to get tags for the Jeep and I'm not looking forward to it. However, I am looking forward to the fact that afterwards, I think I'm going to go do a little craft shopping. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a couple of weeks, so I think I'll go uh, have a look, see what's new. I um, hope that maybe I find a little bit more of that sale stuff. So, I'm working on this little journal. What do you think? Don't worry. It looks thin, but it's not going to stay thin. And it's got to fit in that hole. You guys wanted this paper. So here it is. I have to do some stenciling. I've got my texture paste around here. And I want you to remember real quick how ugly this was. I haven't done the back or the bottom yet. So. I love it. I'm glad you guys picked this paper. Of course, I'd have been happy if you picked the other paper. But anyway, so far, this is the journal. I'm going to put lots of laces and trims and stuff in it. And I'm hoping to find some goodies for that when I go to Hobby Lobby. So, vlog 200. I can't even believe it. It's crazy. Um, oh, so I wanted to tell you, I forgot to tell you last week. So last week, oh gosh, did I tell you? I told somebody. I'm going to tell you again if I already told you. So Honey was off last week to spend more time with Blake. He didn't spend more time with, or I should say Blake didn't spend more time with him. And I'll tell you more about that later, but, um, so, Honey was uh, taking the mail over to the mailman. The mailman pulled up as I was leaving. And as I... Did I tell you this? I feel like I told you this. Sometimes I go back and I rewatch my vlogs just so I can remember what I told you. Um, anyway, the mailman noticed I had a kiss bag because I all my paperwork and... My, my shop checkbook and all that is in a kiss bag. And um, he asked uh, Honey if we were Kiss fans. And he told him that I was a huge Kiss fan. And um, he was like, why? Well, I, I play in a a tri Kiss tribute band. He plays Ace Freely, the spaceman. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. So anyway. Um, okay, so Honey's taking time off to spend with Blake. Unfortunately, Blake has got short timers. Do you guys know what short timers is? Short timers is when you don't have long to be somewhere, like... Usually it's referred to um, with a job. If you're at a job and you've given your notice, so you're not going to be there for much longer. A lot of people get short timers where they don't do their job as well because they really don't care because they're not going to be there much longer. And I'm not saying Blake doesn't care. I'm saying that he's 20 years old and he's excited to go and start his life and he's not real he's not realizing how this is affecting his dad and I just wish I mean he does know I just wish he could go ahead and and be like hey it's now he's leaving Thursday. Today's Monday. But last week, if he could have just said to himself, self, 
I'm going to spend um, these last this, these last days. I'm going to I'm going to spend time with my dad. And it just didn't happen. Um, honey even did 90% of that work that was done out in the the ditch down there clearing the brush and everything honey did 90 percent of it and unfortunately blake didn't come across as very appreciative and honey was really upset about it and you know i i listened to him vent and and um i don't know which night it was saturday night saturday night i went in blake was it was early. It was like 7.15. And I went in there and I told Blake, I was like, your dad's really wishing you could spend some time with him. And he's like, oh, I'm tired. Nah, nah, nah. So I put my hoodie on and he had made a fire out back. So I went outside to, to sit with him, try to comfort him and, um, about 10 minutes went by and Blake came out. So once Blake came out, I kind of excused myself. So that hopefully they could have some one-on-one -on -one time. I don't understand young people. I just don't. But I guess I didn't really realize the value of my parents till I was in my 30s you know I guess you take your parents for granted and you just think they're always gonna be there but they're not you know my dad's been gone 18 years <laughs> on Thursday he'll, it'll be 18 years and um, anyway I'm trying to give Blake advice I'm trying to make him see that his dad just I mean his dad is distraught and I feel I feel bad for him but I was talking to my mom the other day and telling her and she gave some advice and I told honey and then later on in the day he was like please tell your mom thank you for the advice he really respects my mom So, anyway, um, so dinner, so we went to dinner, and something weird had happened. We thought one of the other cousins was coming, and turns out we were waiting for him, but he wasn't really coming, and so, <laughs> it started out weird, but we, uh, we got to the restaurant, and we... I had called and made a reservation and I had told them where we wanted to be seated because, you know, we were with some older folks and they sometimes don't hear as well. And so I wanted us to be seated in an area where it would be easier for us to hear each other and actually have conversation. So I had told the girl that when I made the reservation. So she, the hostess goes, oh, yes. And she goes to seat us, and she tries to seat us at the very first table as you walk in the door. And I'm like, uh, no. Um, when I called and made the reservation, I let them know we wanted to be seated, you know, seated back there. And she's like, oh, we don't let people request where they could be seated. And I was like, well, you might want to talk to your uh, person who answered the phone yesterday. And so she's still setting down our... Um, menus and I'm like I'm gonna need to speak to a manager so she kind of rolls her eyes at me and I'm just like whoa um, and she goes off and I can see her talking to this lady and she goes back to the the little stand I guess where they the hostesses are and so a couple minutes goes by and I look over at her and I'm like, is a manager coming? She's like, she's setting up your table. So I looked at honey 
And he just kind of was like, okay, well, we're getting what we wanted. And, um, and then I heard him say something to the girl and I looked at him and he goes, well, if they're going to talk about us, you'd think they'd wait till we were seated. <laughs> so anyway, we got seated, it took a long time for us to get our chips and salsa, um, it took a long time for us to get our food. Anyway, then Honey's Food was the last one to come out. They brought like three peoples and then three peoples and then Honey's was last. And Honey's one of those people, he likes his food really hot. I mean like really, really hot. So his, he's like, this is, this is like it's been in a refrigerator. So I reached over and I took, you know, I took a little bit and tasted it. I was like, well, it doesn't taste like it's been in a refrigerator, but it's not hot. So I said, go tell him. I said, you want me to tell him? He's like, no, I'll tell him. So he went over and, and the girl was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll bring you, you know. He's like, can you guys just like pop this in the microwave or something? Anyway. Um, the, she came, it took like five minutes and she came back and she had a brand new burrito. And he was like, I, she's like, here you go, sir. We, we made you a new one. And he was like, I didn't need a new one. I just wanted you to heat up what I had. She goes, oh, well, you know, the law is that we can't, you know, once it's been, you know, forks been taken to it, we can't do that. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, and it was fine. And he ate it. Then this guy came over, and it was it was just weird. Everything was just weird. And we go to this place all the time. It's like five minutes from our house, maybe three minutes from our house, and we love it there. And so everything was just weird, and I told them, I was like, you need to go find the manager, and you need to tell her about our experience. Because this is my feeling. When you go to a restaurant and you, you've got seven, a group of seven, that's going to be, you know, a substantial amount of money. It's definitely going to be over a hundred dollars. So when you go spend a hundred dollars, you want to have a nice experience and you want everybody to have a good time. You don't want to be the whole time talking about how weird it is at this restaurant. And why things aren't being done properly. You want to, to talk about the things you're there to talk about, which was a goodbye dinner for Blake. And it ended up being a, what is wrong with this restaurant tonight? So anyway, she and, and he told her, he's like, I'm not trying to get anything for free. He's like, I'm in, I'm in a, a type of, a line of business that um, is a customer service type of business. And I would want one of my customers to let me know. My wife owns a business. She likes, you know, if her, anybody's upset with her or her business, she wants to know so she can fix it. Anyway, so while he's gone, the waitress brings the ticket, the bill, and they try to charge us for two burritos. The burrito he sent back and the burrito that he ate. So honey comes back to the table and he's like, How, what, what's on the bill? And Because I always double check and make sure there aren't any mistakes. I said, they're trying to charge us for two burritos. He's like, oh no. <laughs> and he grabs the ticket and he goes back over to the manager and tells her. And she goes, I don't even know why they brought that to you. I'm so sorry. And hands him the bill. And... They had comped the entire thing. So, that was a very long story. <laughs> but, yeah. So, they comped the entire everything. Which wasn't necessarily what we were trying to get. I mean, would have been nice if they had comped his meal at least or something. But, yeah. So, that's what happened. Crazy. 
So anyway, then we came back to the house. And, of course, Walking Dead's getting ready to come on. I think we got home 30 minutes before Walking Dead. Well, anyway, we all started talking. And one of the things that came up was about one of the dogs at um, Blake's grandma's house, Honey's mom. And Honey had told me before, you're going to have to talk to my mom because it's really time to think about putting that dog down. It's really unhealthy. It's, it's got an ulcer. You know, she poops blood. You know, it, it, you need to talk to her. So, Honey was the one who brought something up. And, I, and so, I thought he was like kind of giving me the, the nudge to, to do what he had asked me to do before. And so, you know, I, I asked if she had considered that it might be time to let her go. I, I really tried to do it in the, the best way you could say something like that anyway. And she started crying and, you know, I kind of pulled back and I just said, well, you know, sometimes the most loving thing we can do is, is let them go. And, um... Anyway, later, like a couple hours later after they had left and stuff, honey told me I had made him really mad because I made his mom cry. And I'm just like, I thought this is what you wanted me to do. I, this is what you told me before that I needed to talk to your mom. And he's like, well, not, you know, not right then. And I was like, well, then why did you bring it up? I thought you were trying to, trying to tell me to, you know, oh. I'm just like, I, I was just doing what I thought you wanted me to do. And I felt really bad because I, you know, certainly I'm not the kind of person who likes to make anybody cry. I hadn't planned on bringing it up last night. I don't know. I just don't know, people. But anyway, I am not seeing a lot of crafters videos, and I've mentioned this recently, that it seems like this year, like a lot of people aren't on anymore. I don't know, but it's sad because I use that inspiration. I use that to help me figure out what I'm going to do to get my crafty mojo moving. So... Do you guys want to do some comments? I can't believe this is vlog 200. Um, dum dum. Let's see. Ooh, I always yawn. I am so sorry, people. I'm a yawner. Not a goner. I'm a yawner. Okay. Woo! 13. I got four thumbs down. Go me. All right. Um, 63 Sonotech U.S. Traveler says, My son said the same thing to me when he saw me crying and said, Mama, it's just a show. She's talking about The Walking Dead. Carl is going to college. So it was time. I also think it's time to end the show, sadly. I'm going to give you a thumbs up, but... I do not agree that the show needs to end. The comic is going strong. No way. It needs to go on as long as the comics. And they're talking about another spinoff. Which, if it's better than Fear the Walking Dead, I'm like, let's do it. But anyway, Carl's not going to college. Carl wanted to go to college, but he wanted to go to college in Georgia. And now he's not going to college. He's moved to California to work on his music career. So, it wasn't about college. I mean, who would who would get off The Walking Dead to go to college? It's like, how much money are you making per episode? I mean, even if he was only making $50,000 an episode, okay? As monumental as that sounds, $50,000. There are other people on the show making half a million an episode. But I mean, people, he could be set for life. Debbie Graphius, I don't think there's anything as painful as shots in the feet. No kidding. 
I had cortisone shots in the heels back in the day when I had look at a yard plantar fasciitis. Now that is so painful. The first shots were very welcome, but not the latter. Ended up having the okay. Well, she, she's telling all her information. I had to laugh thinking about the first shots. My youngest son was in the room with me and wanted to watch it. He was middle school age at the time, and he had his nose right there watching the shots. I think the doctor must have, the doctor thought he must have been a freak, LOL. <laughs> That's funny. Peggy, oh, this is funny, Peggy. Peggy Dalsimer, you're adorable. You have a cute sense of humor. You're a magnificent one-of-a-kind crafter with a very special style. I simply love the mini fairy album. Well, thank you, Peggy. <laughs> I haven't been called adorable in a long time. <laughs> Katie S. Are, okay, first up, I'll say don't, in capital letters, waste your fairy dust paper on that box. Okay, what I want to know, Katie S., is, is the box crappy? And not good enough for the fairy dust papers? I don't know what exactly you mean by don't waste your fairy dust paper on that box. I want to know what you mean by that. <laughs> then she says, I think the unicorn would be better. I'm glad you don't have any life-threatening illness. And I hope that the arthritis doesn't stop you. Here I go again. Yeah from working or crafting for a very long time. It's a great view you've got of the lake from your craft room. Looking forward to the box tutorial that goes with the card you made. Yes, that will be, I just did a tutorial yesterday. So that'll be this week's tutorial. And then the box will be next week's tutorial. Virginia, Michelini, love the new box you are redoing. Sorry, I don't know the two papers to choose. Going off to find the video you did of the other redo box. Did you find it? If you need me to, I can link you guys to that box. Let me know, because I'm sure I'll forget by the time I share this. But let me know, and I'll link it. Kathleen, Kathleen, Mena. Oh my goodness, love the Stamperia. I'd love to see that on the box. Well, I'm working on it right now. Angela Ford, hi Rena, what a view you have, really lovely. I have a very slight river view if I stretch my neck at one of the bedroom windows, lol. I really would love to see the box with the Stamperia collection too, please. The funny thing is, it's totally unanimous. I don't think one person has said to use the fairy dust papers. And I really thought that's what you guys would say. The Walking Dead, yes, I like the first seasons better too, but still... Like you, gotta, gotta, gotta watch it. Funny, I was thinking the other day how I'd do things different if I had grandchildren. Still waiting and hoping one day. It is hurtful when your kids don't respect money and think you're a money tree. They simply just don't get it. I think they think they need it more because they're young. No. You don't, kids. Sorry, adult children. LOL. Thanks for sharing. Now I must go and find that other box. Okay, guys, let me know if you want me. If, if you found it, great. If you didn't, I will help you. And, ugh, so frustrating with the adult children and the money. It's frustrating when they're teenagers, but you kind of get it when they're teenagers. But, yeah. 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 Kaz Hanlon. Hi, Rena. Kaz, is your name really Kaz? Or is it short for something? I would really like to know. 
Hi, Rena. Every time <laughs> you yawned, I yawned. Oh, my God. <gasps> <sighs> Please go shabby chic and use the unicorn collection. The crappy thing is I can't buy it because of where I live. But I can't wait to see the end result. Have a great week. Why can't you buy it? Sure you can buy it. Anybody can buy it. Sherry Vaughn. Okay, this is the big question. She says, why is your sound off of what you say? It's, and she's mentioned this before. It seems to be happening a lot lately. I'm not complaining, just curious. Okay, here's my answer. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea why that is happening. I'm using uh, iMovie on my phone to edit. I don't know. Um, go shabby chic on your box as that is a timeless design. The fairies are just a fad. <laughs> that will soon be gone. I don't think so. I, I like to do things to sell. You guys know that. And the fairy dust collection right now is like the bomb. So I figured that's why I would use the fairy dust because somebody would be more likely to buy it. But you guys were unanimous on the unicorn collection. So one of you guys better be buying this box. And this journal. All right. Naomi West. More shabby for the box. Can't wait to see it. Paper crafting girl. Maybe a paper line in your collection that you haven't thought of using. Nope. It was two choices. Just two. Unicorn or fairies. Um, Crafty Nan. Crafty Nan, where have you been? Hi, Rena. The view is beautiful. I think the unicorn paper would be lovely on the box. The black and white check top really suited you. Thank you. Uh, it's a vest, actually, and I really like it. Have a nice family meal. Good luck to Blake. Well, you heard about the family meal. So, I have, a, I have, I wanted, I've been surprised, okay? So, I shared my fairy garden. That's the Kaiser Craft paper, not the fairy dust. The, I shared that mini album. And I'm surprised that out of, right now, 497 people have watched that video. It's been one day. I, I posted it yesterday. So, 497 people have watched it. Only 14 have left a comment. I I used to watch a lot of videos and not comment. And I decided that, you know what? Somebody puts forth an effort to, I mean, are they creating that thing because they want to? Yes. Um, but there's time invested. And if I enjoyed it in any way, I'm, I'm, I've been leaving a comment, even if it's a small comment. I leave a comment based on how much I liked it. <laughs> um, so anyway, and I really like it when I, I get a new subby because they like the project. I like for them to tell me, I liked it so much that I'm subscribing to you. So I'm disappointed that out of 497 people, only 14 people have got, and that's not, that that isn't even all i think some of it is me replying yeah one two three four five so five of those are me replying so there's really only nine comments out of 497 what the heck people somebody help me out with that one because i don't get it And then my tea-themed shabby chic cards with the matching boxes. I got four comments, but 29 thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. So the Kaiser Craft shabby chic cards with the little bears on them. Nine comments, but 44 thumbs up. And my, my ballerina journal, 
22 comments, 51 thumbs up. But let's, let's go and look at the Fairy Dust Explosion Box. Let's check that out. It's quite a ways back now. All right. So that came out January the 24th. So it's been out five or six weeks. It's got 9,258 views. It has 69 comments and 369 thumbs up. Holy cow. So a lot of people have taken the time to leave me a comment on that. And I have had 11 people give it a thumbs down. Awesome. All right, guys, we're at 30 minutes. But you know what? This is vlog 200. I may just do an hour a day this week. And I've got a surprise for you sometime this week. I've got a surprise for you at the end of the week, too. So, I'm not going to tell you what's going on, but I am going to tell you, I love your comments. That's a hint. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, look at the difference in the color of the lake. It is 335. So, in the morning, it was like super dark blue. And now it's that color. And yes, we are looking at the view from Honey's window. He actually gets more lake than I do. And I don't know how I feel about that. He told me we could switch rooms. And I'm like, hell to the no, I ain't moving that craft room again. Ain't happening. Guys that want to see the inside of an American craft store, welcome to Hobby Lobby. This is um, the cooking section, whatever, and sometimes they have stuff that'll, I mean like, you could use that on a card as your sentiment. Yeah. They've got the bags for the um, junk journal can alter these boxes. Cards and envelopes. And colored envelopes. This is kind of what I needed. I need a corner punch. I had one like this, but it sprouted legs and walked away. But, oh, look at this. How cute is that? But I don't want to spend that much. I want a corner punch, but I don't want it this big. Let's see if they have a smaller one. I still have some sale stuff, but it's the bottom of the barrel. Oh, this isn't bad. A 
Sauce and Punch. Hmm. For $3.75, I think I'm going to get both of those. Still have a bunch of stamps on sale. Ooh, cinch. Cinch. But these are square. My cinch is round. Dang it. These are the scissors I get, guys. Just these cheapy. 249 scissors. Feels kind of weird when people walk past you and you're doing a video. <laughs> I don't know how those girls do it. The ones that go every day and they talk all through their video. Hmm. Saxon things. Look at these little tiny white ones. Favorite aisle. <laughs> Dollar twenty five. I wish the other colors were on sale. These Prima flowers are the bomb. I have to have these even though they're not on sale. So pretty. Can't believe they're only $3.99. Oh, 50% off these flowers. Yeah. These look like junk journal flowers to me. I think I need some of these. And some of these. Do you think I need the pink ones? These are fifty percent off too. Hmm. Well, there's nothing here I think I can live without. Like it when the metals are fifty percent off. Sticker aisle. I usually don't look at stickers, but today I have a project that maybe some stickers would work. Stay. 
I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday because I fell asleep in it. Isn't it weird what's going on up here? It looks weird. Anyway, so I finished the journal. I'm not going to show it to you, but look at that. How does that look? Okay, so I still need to finish the bottom and the back. And then I need to do some stenciling and do something to the top. So I'm hoping I'll be able to share this Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. But anyway. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Uh-oh. Oh, guys, I gotta go. The drawers don't want to come out. You know what they say? Um, what do they say? Something like, there's no mistakes? How does it go? Oh, and I gotta do it in here too. But first I gotta get the drawers out because I painted those yesterday and they felt dry, so I stuck them back in. Uh, I'll be back. Tear. And a nice hot cup of tea. It's 6.42 in the evening. Yes, I drink tea in the evening. I prefer it in the morning, but sometimes just that warm just feels good. I'm getting ready to cut this off. This is annoying. Ha! I cut it off. I wonder if I can craft something with that. What do you guys think? Just kidding. So, I have been thinking very seriously. Is there anyone out there who has an online craft store? Raise your hand. Because I, in my area, Denver, all of the small... I wouldn't necessarily say small, but all of the scrapbooking stores, um, we had some archivals that were super nice. Um, they've closed down. I only know of one mom and pop, and that's the one right by my grooming shop. So if I opened one close to my house, it would be far enough away from that one. Um, and yeah. I'm I'm thinking of maybe starting with online. We're going to have a lot more space now that we have no children living at home. Um, I don't know. I need to call my BFF too because she has the DIY boutique supply and she sells online. But gosh, it seems like every time I talk to her, what are you doing? Packing orders. What are you doing? Packing orders. I want to craft. But I'm thinking, since I already have such a large amount of followers on YouTube, that selling product would probably be fairly easy. I don't know. It isn't something I would want to start anytime super soon, but I want to start getting information. I want to start getting my ducks in a row and, and uh, yeah. Anyway, I've really been thinking about it. So, that's all. Just a real quick vid, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, by the way, let me show you, because this morning I was freaking out. So, here it is. And, oh my God, not again. tight to begin with so when I painted them you know it just added that teensy bit but they do I don't know what to do because like I said I didn't put any paper on them or anything but I had them I had them all out earlier because I put paper 
inside of all of them. I think I have an idea for what to do. So before I do my video on this, I will do that. Now I'm trying to decide on the inside edges. Do I want to put paper? That was a dog. <laughs> oh my God. That's just, uh. Or do I want to put like rosette trim? That would be, hmm, I don't know. Because so I got three boxes this size and then that. And then I somebody suggested I do something here with like a pocket and stuff. And I do intend to do that. But I don't have a lot of room because it does hit this stuff here. So I can't do too much. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do on top. I'm hoping to be able to do a video on this tomorrow. And, yeah, I'm not going to pull the journal out. Don't want you to see it. All right, now I'm really going. Bye.